Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Middle age has been described as that period of life that you never want to enter and you never want to leave. Some 1,200 individuals were asked to define what middle age is. Of that number, 41% said it begins when you have to start worrying about money for health care. 42% said it begins when your last child moves out and the dog dies. 16% said it is when you don't recognize the names of music groups that are now popular. Back in 1989, the MacArthur Foundation funded the largest grant ever given to study middle age, what they considered to be the last uncharted territory in human development. The study covered a period of eight years. It concluded that the middle years are more a state of mind than a chronological transition. But one interesting finding of the research is that they believe the midlife crisis has gotten far too much credibility. Rather than being an actual physical period of stress, they say the idea of crisis becomes a tantalizing excuse for wild and outrageous behavior, something that justifies irresponsibility and outright rashness. This is the period of life when red convertible cars are purchased, and some spouses are traded in for newer models. Of course, an emotional crisis follows. It can spell big trouble in any language. There's no denying, however, that some natural changes occur. A humorous article stating 25 surefire signs that you finally hit middle age include 1. Reading on your phone becomes difficult because the font is suddenly too tiny. 2. Hair starts appearing in the wrong places, on your nose, your face, your ears. 3. You go to bed by 8 p.m. and fall asleep by 9. But far from being a time of turmoil, for most people the midlife years appear to be a time of psychic equanimity, good health, productive activity, and community involvement. On balance, the sense we all have is that midlife is the best place to be. So said Dr. Orville Brim, director of the network which is made up of researchers from many different academic disciplines. The danger is to fail to recognize that your experience far compensates for the slight decrease in the energy you have. You've hit the ball over the net so many times that you have a pretty good idea where it's going to bounce, and you only need to take five steps to hit it instead of ten. You've made mistakes, but you've learned from them. You've been around the block a couple of times, and you've learned the hard way to work smarter rather than simply harder. But wisdom is not an automatic result of aging. Quote, It is not the old who are wise, nor the aged who understand what is right, the book of Job warns. Living in relationship with God, making the most of our days, makes the difference. Psalm 90, verse 12 instructs, Teach us to number our days, that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. This can be the best of times or the worst of times. You determine which they can be. May I ask you a question? How old are you anyway? Some are old at age 40, others useful at age 75. You are as young as you think, as old as you see yourself to be. You are as young as your faith, as old as your fears. Maturity, from an emotional and spiritual viewpoint, is being at peace with yourself at every season of life. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.